this video is going to show you how to make a part of your video on an edit slow motion and without using a special effects program just using what's native already on there on uh, Lightworks. So I open my Lightworks window here and I've got two edit clips that are prepared with some black in them already. That's one, one is going to be my main edit that I'm going to use to do all the slow motion stuff on. The other one is the one I'm going to pick out just the part that's going to be made slow motion. So it's kind of confusing, but here's the, the clip that I'm going to do the slow motion work in. I'm going to go ahead and copy the entire clip. So I'll mark and park it for the whole thing. And I'm going to drop the whole thing into both of these. Um, on this first, on my main piece of work here, I've got some black, 12 seconds of it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to drop it in the middle and then some more black afterwards. On my other clip, it just has black on it. I don't know how much is on there, but it, anyways, I'm going to start at the very beginning on this one and, and, and drop this in. So that way I can tell the two apart for one thing. But um, I left 12 seconds at the beginning of the video on the other one because that's going to have some uh, opening credits. Okay, now that I've got it dropped in, I can get rid of the, uh, the clip that I pulled it off of. And I have two edits here that I'm going to be working back and forth with. So let me get this one out of the way. So here's my main piece of work that's going to be my final product with. I'm going to make it the recorder so I can do editing with it. And I'm going to go to the beginning of where this clip started. And I'm going to play through to, to where I find the spot where I want to start the slow motion at. And to make this stuff simple, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to do it at 10 seconds. So 10 seconds in, I'll stop it. I had 12 to begin with, so 12 plus 10 is 22 seconds. So 22.00. And I mark that as my end spot. And then I'm going to run a 10 second slow motion. So I need to go ahead and bump that up to uh, 32 seconds. Okay. So this is the part that's going to be made slow motion. So what I'm going to do is delete it. And I'm going to get rid of that little thing there that pops up. Now I'm going to turn it off as a recorder. Go back to the other one and turn it on as my recorder clip so I can do editing with it. What I only want on here is that 10 seconds that I'm going to make slow motion. But to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is go to where the 10 seconds starts at. So that'll actually be 20 seconds into this video because it started after 10 seconds had elapsed on, on the beginning. Okay, so I'll get to where the 10 is. And actually, I need to mark my start at the 20 seconds, so move this up. Get into position, mark that in, and go to the very end and mark it out. Okay, so now I've got my 10 second lead in and my 10 seconds is going to be made slow motion. I've got a total of 20 seconds here, so I'm going to unjoin the video and then I'm going to move it over and elongate that video with blank video space on it because if I'm going to make this to a 25% uh, slow motion I need four times the space for it to fit in so I need at least that uh, much if I had 20 seconds so 20 times 4 would be 80 seconds that's 1 minute and 20 seconds I'm going to give a minute and 40 just so I got a little extra you have to do a little math on this to uh, get it right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and join that one. I'm going to do the same thing on the video, on the audio. Get it there, unjoin it, and move it over to the exact same spot and make it to 140 as well, which is extra, extra on there as well. The reason you have to do this is because if you don't create the extra video there, when you make it slow motion it expands into that space you don't have that space to expand into you'll lose your product part of what you're trying to make slow motion so now you clip on this on the advanced tab and change the speeds of these tracks to 25 percent so now all that's running at 25 percent slow motion all right so now what i need to do is go to where the beginning of my section is that that needs to be slow motion that i'm going to use well, it was originally at 10 seconds, so now I've got to start it at 40 seconds on here. So let me find 40 seconds. OK. 
Okay, there's 40. And then I have to go ahead and the 10 seconds that I'm going to be using. So this is where it starts. So that's another 40 seconds now because it's expanded by times four. So now I need to move it from the 40 to 80, which would be a minute and 20 seconds. So let me move that over. Get it exactly right. It has to be exactly right to the frame for all this to work out smoothly and everything so it'll look right. So once I get my edit head at exactly 120, I'll mark that as the out position. Drop off that 10. There we go. Okay, so that'll be my out. Now that that is the part that I will need to be recording from on the other clip, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. See how it runs in slow motion at 25%, so you get a look and kind of feel for what it's going to do. Okay, so that'll work. Next thing I'm going to do is, of course, turn this off as a recorder. It needs to be what I'm going to be selecting from. I've already got it marked and parked. Um, go over here to my where I want to drop it in at. I've got to add some black video to it. And I guess how much I need. I need 40 seconds. So I'm going to give myself plenty here. And then I'll trim it back once I get it dropped in. I uh, still haven't made this the recorder yet, so let me make it the recorder. There we go. Now I can drop in or insert the black. And of course that's way too much. I go back to where it starts at. I'm taking a look at my timer there, and I need to add to that. And I added the first time I added way too much still. So you're going to see me go ahead and kill off some some of the black here, and I'll have to go back in and clear it off again here in a minute, the rest of it. Because I only need 40 seconds. And it does have to be exact for this to work right. So I marked and parked it to drop the video into. And when, when I go back over here and look at where I'm pulling from. Let me get rid of that video black. Okay. Um, I'm seeing from 120 down to 40. That's... Uh, Forty seconds, a minute and twenty seconds. So I need only forty seconds. So since I only need forty, let me move this up to where I'm up forty instead of the amount that I have on there now. I'll mark it in, and then go to the end there, mark that out, and delete that off because I don't need that that black still there. There we go. Now I've got exactly the same amount of space or time on the, on the edit here. So I'll mark that as the out position, mark that as the in position there, and then just hit replace. You don't want to hit insert, you want to hit replace. And that will drop this 40 seconds from here onto this clip. There's replace, and now it's in there. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double up my audio here so I can have a stereo track on that portion. So let me mark and park that section on the other audio track. Then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to be selecting just the audio. So I'll turn those off. So I have just the audio selected now. Still the same exact amount. And then I'll do a replace again. And now I added that. So I made it a stereo. Okay. We'll eventually we'll do it on the rest of this as well but I just wanted to show you how to do that and get that on there for that one part so let me go ahead and get rid of that other clip I don't need it anymore now you can see the result here go ahead and start it I got that video black at the beginning that I'll fill in later here's the beginning of the clip starting it's in regular speed at this point and now you'll see where the slow motion starts. And of course the sound is there with it as well. Alrighty then.
kind of hard to see it on this small screen so I'll go ahead and show it to you on the big screen too here in just a second but uh, you can hear the tone where I get continuity alrighty then so here it is in full uh, the full clip full size so you can see all of it and this is in regular speed then it will hit the uh, slow motion part this is the finalized product what it looks like full size now it's running in slow motion and I did have to adjust the audio slightly by uh, dragging the audio around a little bit to uh, to get it to match up with what was going on especially when it was in slow motion so it looked and the sound would hit pretty close so you may have to play with the sound editing on it to get it exactly lined up with what's going on on the uh, on the video anyways that's how you do it so I hope this is helpful to you it's a way of doing slow motion without having to use any special effects you can run it at zero speed 25 percent speed or 50 percent speed or back to 100 percent speed uh, by using that advanced tab on your edit clip and you don't even have to use any special effects thank you